Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So in today's video, uh, I promised you guys that I'll be showing you for our trading strategy. And this video is part one, so I'll do part two because I want to make it clear out there about this strategy. This strategy is very good because you don't need to go to another time frame. You, you can trade it on four hour only. You know how I keep telling you, go to monthly, go to weekly, wait alignment, wait everything. No, in this with this strategy, you can be able to trade four hour only. And guys, don't ask me about one hour to hour. This is strictly four hour. So before I begin, I want to show you or share with you about uh, my mentorship program. I charge $400. You guys, many people have forced me to start saying this on my videos. I don't like saying about my mentorship because I like focusing on teaching you all here. But there are so many scammers pretending to be me. And I have to be careful and I have to tell people what I offer. So that if you hear someone saying, oh, they are trading for you, or oh, they are doing Bitcoins, or oh, they are doing investment plans, I don't do that. I only train. So guys, I'm forced to declare what I, I do. I do mentorship. I train. And my, mentor, my mentorship is 400. I've seen other accounts even saying that I do annually, like signals is annually, mentorship is annually. No, this is a month, it's a two-week course. And the next class will start on 6th Feb. So what has happened? Many people have been scammed and they are using different phone numbers. My official phone number, if you're watching this video and you would want me to be your mentor, you can use this number, WhatsApp number uh, 0700 344 066 plus 254 is because it's a country code, Kenya country code, but the number is there, 70700 So if you WhatsApp me and you tell me you want my mentorship, you'll be talking to the real Esther Moffrey. And guys, be careful on the comment section where people, they tell you, uh, inbox me, WhatsApp here. That is not me. I will not tell you to WhatsApp me if you have not asked me for the information. So guys, it's clear that the mentorship, I give six patterns, which I teach in details. But today I want to, or not even today on my channel, I'm very open on the two patterns that I teach everyone because again, not everyone who can afford $400. So I have made sure that I will teach for the six patterns that I teach on my mentorship program. You can see I've written here, for this, these six patterns, I chose two because these two are very profitable and are very easy. The rest, they are intertwined, but on the public channel, everywhere publicly, I really emphasize on the double tops and the double bottoms. And this is what I'll show you today with four hour trading strategy. So if you want other four uh, patterns to understand them, you have to come on my mentorship. So guys, if you hear me saying, this is for my mentorship. Kindly bear with me because again, there's what is paid and there's what is free and I have to differentiate. With all that is being said and done, let's get into the video. I'm very excited guys, because today I want to show you with these two patterns, you can trade for hour. And today we are starting with double bottom as a pattern. And then I'll do part two where I'll focus on double top. So guys, let me delete everything and then we start afresh. So in this strategy, now we are back. In this strategy, this is four hour. I won't flip to daily, weekly. I won't do all that. So if I have my chart like this, if this is what I have, I will bear in mind uh, if four hour is what I have, I can see that this market has been trending on an uptrend, like it has been an uptrend. I'm not sure if this is just a retracement. You know, guys, there is a way higher time frame can tell you directly I don't know if this is just a retracement and then the market to go up. That one, I don't know until the structure align itself. But I can tell you, buyers have been strong. For sellers to come and take control, it will take some time. Maybe they come in and break this low so that now we can identify that even on four is a sale. But currently we are thinking on buying. And why are we thinking on buying? Because our market is on an uptrend, that is one. And the second thing, 
we have approached a support zone. Guys, I told you when you, you approach a very strong support zone, you can see this is a very strong support zone. We can have, a, let me first deal with this. You can have that the support and the market came here and that's a support. So if this support holds, we can see an upward move like that. So that's how fast you start uh, familiarizing yourself, even if it's forward, to really understand where is my market? Is it on the support zone or is it on the, on the resistance zone? And it is clearly, this market is where? Is on the support. And on the support, we look for buyers unless the support is broken. On resistance around here, we are looking for sell unless the resistance is broken so that we can continue buy but when the market is at resistance you only look for sell but if it breaks you can look for continuation of a buy but now we'll be observing here we don't want this market what we don't want to see is this candle breaking like that a red candle if that happens now I'll shift everything and I'll start looking, okay, what made this market to keep selling? And my mind will continually, uh, I will try to look for a pattern. For me, guys, I tell you, I don't like trading without a pattern. The minute you trade without a pattern is one step to failing. I know many people do naked charts. They have so many uh, strategies, but what I believe is that you need that strong reason. So guys, let's begin. I have told you, my first observation is an uptrend and I'm not sure is it a reversal, a retracement and how I can be sure is if I, I draw that a zone. So you can see that is my first zone I will draw. And this is this zone, we can call it support. So this is what you need to do. Even if you're trading on four hour, have you identified your support? If you're following this video, go open any chart and try to walk with me. I'm trying to show you step by step I'm trying to be very, very uh, simple and easy. So the first thing you want to identify is where your market is. You, you see, if our market was this area, we would have started with the resistance. Now our market is at our support area. That's where I've drawn our support. And you can write there, support. So here we will write support. And that is our support gaze. And once I write support like that, I'm sure that on support, even I will do side notes. And you know, when you do side notes, you're not ignorant. So at support, we do what? Equals, we do what? We buy. But again, at support, if broken, what do we do? You need to identify two things. Support, if broken, we don't buy. We continue selling. We continue selling because it's a continuation of sell. We continue. We continue selling. So you need to know that you are at a very, very uh, tricky zone. Guys, you know, many people think, oh, at support, they start buying. This same support can buy and it can sell. And this is why some sometimes many people don't have a working strategy because they, they like predicting, oh, the market will buy, oh, the market will sell. I'm now telling you that two things can happen. The market can buy, the market can sell. You need to have a strong reason. Come with a strong reason. Let us reason together. Even the Bible says like that. So you need to come with a strong reason. Why do you think this market will buy? Do you think we'll buy because it's just a support zone, guys? That is not enough because you have seen supports, some support being rejected. So I want us to come now to pay much attention. Come close, come close to this market and try to understand what really uh, what really is that thing that is standing out. So for, for me, what I can see, guys, is of course a possible double bottom. Anyone who can see a possible double bottom, Kindly comment down below. Can you see a possible double bottom? This, the first thing you know you are improving in your analysis when you start analyzing and being able to identify patterns. If you're able to identify patterns, just know possible double bottom. If you're able to identify patterns, just know you're improving. Just know there's improvement. If you can't identify patterns, uh, you need to work more on your eyesight. I can say that your analysis are down. If you can't realize, oh, that is a possible double bottom. And where is our neckline? Our highest point. So I will 
make sure that is our neckline and i'll put uh, red like that and then guys you must know that this double bottom has happened on a this is a uh, an uptrend market can you see it's an uptrend double bottom on an uptrend market guys all of these things should be in your head be in your head. Remember, what did we say when you have a double bottom on an uptrend? We said a double bottom on an uptrend, the market can sell because the market has been buying for a very long time. So even if we are thinking, oh, we, we need to buy, you can't say you'll buy to the neckline. There's a, there's a place where you buy and then that is it. So this is the neckline. And again, a double bottom on an uptrend, to buy up to the half, it is very easy. Why? Because the trend seems to continue. So this is like a tongue twister and you need to understand. And this is what now I explain to my students in details. Because again, if someone pays you, of course you want, you have seen their passion and they are ready to learn, you will be able to teach them every little detail. So I want to measure half. Once you have your neckline, I want to measure our half gaze. This is our half. Can you see our half? That is our half. So our half, I'll put color green like that. So now we are guaranteed on this trade, the guarantee position, even if we think of buying. You see, this is an uptrend, like the market has been trending up and it's a double bottom on an uptrend. We are guaranteed up to the half gaze. This is where we are guaranteed. They're not guaranteed to the neckline. I won't lie to you. Double bottoms on an uptrend are not easy to reach neckline. Reason being, they have been buying for so long. So it is like declared, it's like this market has been like overbought. So don't even, if you identify double bottom on an uptrend, you see double bottom on a downtrend, double bottom on a downtrend, it's an, a different case. Let me show you what I mean. You see many people think like, ah, uh, forex is just coming. No, if you have a double bottom on a downtrend, what do you think is happening? Double bottom on an uptrend is a reversal. So any reversal, the market has fuel. You see, reversal, the market can come up to the neckline. So this is your neckline, and um, and this is your attempts, first attempt, second attempt, and you have your half there. You have that half. Double bottom on a downtrend, it is not uh it is not a wonder if it goes to the neckline. Why? Because this market wants to reverse. The sellers are more willing, they are more willing, like they have been deprived for a very long time. They have been deprived for a very long time. So double bottom on a downtrend. Double bottom on a downtrend, it is easier for it to do what? To go all the way to the neckline. But now, double bottom on an uptrend, and that's what we have. It is not easy. I hope now I have made sense. It's not easy for this market. And me, when I'm trading patterns, with that in mind, for me, uh, my trading, I, I read them here. Like, if I get up to 140, I'm good. If I get up to 140, I'm good. So for me, what I've come to realize is that, for me, what I've come to realize is that, the minute you the minute you know what type of a double bottom you have what type of a double top you have you are easily you can easily know how to even target you can easily know how to target and that's what um i've come to realize if you know if you know and you know you can easily know how to target what to do and and that's that's what makes the difference guys so now we have our half, I'll measure. So we have to take profits. The guarantee, I always say, the guarantee TP is the half. This one, the, the neckline, it's not guaranteed. It is not. And I'm telling you, it is not. So don't be trading from here to here thinking, oh, the market had a double bottom, it will go there. No. So TP1, TP1, it is guarantee. But TP2, nobody guarantees you. TP2, so we come here, TP2, nobody guarantees you. So imagine all along you have been identifying double bottom, it is on an uptrend. Uh, TP1 is guaranteed, TP2 is not guaranteed. So if I have to make uh, everything, I have to come, I have, my TP has to be there. That's what I'm targeting on. So the thing is, guys, the thing is, 
We need no entry. And this is what I tell people. We need entry. And entry, guys, entry it is easier. Entry it is easier. So you can see that the candles are still red. Are still red. Like sellers are in control. I told I said we do not use WBB on four hour. No WBB on four hour. We don't use WBB on four. Hour. Kindly understand that. Don't say I wait for a green candle, I put a box. No WBB on four hour. I will show you what to use. Don't use this because I have tested it and it does not work. So we don't use WBB on four hour. What do we use instead? This is what we use instead. Instead of using WBB, we will use, um, if it's a double bottom, if it's a double bottom, we will use resistance, current resistance break. Current resistance break. So if it is, uh, if it is a double bottom, we are using current resistance break. So in this area, we need to see current resistance break. And in this case, our current resistance, our current resistance is this level. You see that small green candle? That is the resistance we have. So unless the market comes and breaks here, you don't have business to do with the TP1. And that is it, guys. Even if the market prints, you see, I've said, even if the market prints a green candle, and then because it's a green candle, you think, oh, now this is a green candle. Let me show you, because now I've told you. So if the market prints a green candle, and then don't start putting a box, guys. For our, we don't use WBB. Don't start using a box and saying, oh, I will wait for box to break. And then when the box break, I enter, no. On four hour, any pattern we use current resistance break. That is to show us that it is true. Buyers are more willing to take that market on an uptrend. So we don't use this one. This is WBB, no. We want a market that has a very green candle breaking that current resistance. And guys, what happens mostly during uh, this level, the, the market makers can give us another current resistance. So it's us to pay attention. So at the moment, let me remove this. At the moment, this is our current resistance. But again, we can have another current resistance. So it's you to pay attention, current resistance. So we have current resistance like that. That is current resistance. So that is my current resistance. All along, if I want this double bottom to work, my take profit to this level, all along, guys, I want my current resistance to be broken. Guys, that's what I tell you. I just need that current resistance to be broken. But, but, and this is but, but, when the red candles happens like this, for us to get a resistance, of course, we need a green candle followed by a red candle. So for you to get a current resistance, you need a green candle followed by red. You have a resistance. So if at all we have a green candle, and pay attention, guys. If right now they print a green candle and another green candle and another green candle, then we have a red candle. What do you think will happen if now we have a red candle? Of course, there's a resistance that has been created. So we'll shift that resistance from there to here. So we won't be working with this. This now will turn to be our current resistance. Guys, you need to play this video multiple times for you to understand what I mean. Because this is the key for you to succeed if you want to be using for our as your winning strategy. So for me to move current resistance to here, I need green candle followed by red. So guys, now we have identified our strategy. What are we looking for? We are looking for either resistance to be broken, that is one, or a current resistance to be created. So we are just waiting to see, will they create another current resistance below the one that we have, or will we deal with the other one? So let, let me play and see what happened. So all along, I get a green candle. Remember, if it is WBB, I'll be very 
busy drawing a box. And that's the difference. On four hour, we are not doing that. So we won't draw a box. Actually, box does not make sense in this case. So we, we have a green candle and then we wait to see, will we have another green candle? Of course, we have a green candle. And then we are waiting for now a red candle to happen. Now, what do you think, guys, has happened? Guys, what do you think has happened? We have been, they, there is a resistance that has been created. This is what I'm saying. Now, remember we were using our current resistance here. We have dropped it all the way. Now, if that is broken, if that resistance is broken, guys, the market is going to TP1 and that is done. Like that is done, 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 done. So if this current resistance is broken, we are going up and we are getting involved. So our eyes is waiting, how will the market behave? Now let's see if what happens. So green candle starts to come again. We can see uh, the market is attempting to touch that resistance, current resistance, but is not getting broken. So let's see what happens. Let's see what, you can see how the reaction, we can see, and don't, you, you remember on WBB we adjust, about current resistance, we do not adjust. So the line that you put on this green candle of, uh, so that the red comes, that is your current resistance. So we are not removing anything. And finally, guys, our current resistance has been broken. So for those who knows about BWA, if now you want to use BWA for more confirmation, you can use BWA. And guys, I said BWA is only taught on my uh, on my mentorship program. I only give this uh, um, uh, kind of a strategy to my paid students. With what I'm teaching you, even without that strategy, you can still make it. But with that strategy, now your life is much easier. Imagine, guys, if I tell you, we are getting involved here and going all the way, 267 pips, 267 pips. So that is it. So you come in and put your long position and forget about this trade. So you come in, get in, and this is why I tell people, for me, I don't use stop loss. If you want to use stop loss, you can use ATR. It's called average true range to measure the, the, the position, the pips, how many pips. But for me, I don't use it. That I don't emphasize. So, guys, another thing, if you want to be more accurate, if you want to be more accurate, you can even look patterns inside a pattern. So, if we look patterns inside a pattern, what do you think we have? we have a ranging pattern. Guys, had you seen that ranging? We have that ranging pattern. And then we can draw, If the, 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 we can observe how will the market behave with the second ranging. So this is just additional information. If you just stick with double bottom, it's fine. But for me, I like having more confirmation. So this ranging pattern means if the market breaks here, if the market breaks there, it will go that distance. So it is promising us to even go further. You can see the ranging is promising us to go even further. So this is what I'm saying. If four hour you master it, if four hour you master it and you master the patterns and this ranging pattern is one of the patterns I teach and I won't teach it here. If you, if you master these patterns, you're good to go. So we want to see, this is the TP that we have, TP1. And the TP2 is if at all, if at all you know about ranging and how ranging works. So I'll just put in case we want to see you did hit TP2, if at all you had two patterns working together. So we have TP2 there. So guys, now we, you, as, you are, as the market, you will be observing what will happen here. You can apply BWA. But this trade, we want to see if you apply two patterns in one, you're getting how many pips? 368 pips. If you target only one pattern, that is the double bottom that I've taught you, you'll get to 78 pips. Now I'll play this quickly because I think I'm done with this strategy. Let's see what happened. TP1 was touched, TP2 was touched. Guys, what else do you want to see? And you can see the ranging was broken. Can you see my ranging was broken? Proving that TP2 will be 
start and and there's a way i teach about ranging and i won't teach it here guys this is how you can do it and you can see it was just a simple double bottom but double bottom i have focused on the entry the entry level is what makes many people don't get it in the market so guys what i can share or what i can tell you today is that practice make sure this video you have repeated multiple times for you to understand and see you for part two part two i'll focus on double top on four hour and then after that you are now able to trade on four hour thank you so much guys for watching until next time bye bye love you